2 liter TDI Audi A6 year 2005 Can you believe this baby has done 345,000 miles? I just passed my MOT with no drama, no problem with emissions. Do you want to know what to do to keep your emissions clean? Come and step inside. It's a bit chilly outside. Let's start her up. Nice and smooth. Have a look at my miles, just in case if you don't believe me. Three four five five zero one. Um, first, I want to say, why do we have our emissions not clean? One of the reasons can be your engine doesn't work properly, doesn't burn fuel properly, so you have dirty emission gases. That means you have problem with engine, you need to take it to garage, get it tested. I believe that but they, these engines are highly reliable and if you look after them, and if you just drive normally, service normally, the reason it will it could fail emissions test is different. It's just I had that mistake when I just got this car. I used to drive it steady, smooth, never took it over 2000 RPMs. Just thought it's a new car, nice and shiny, just take it easy. This car, this engine needs to be driven to keep it alive. You know, when the engine doesn't get hot enough, when you drive around town, you get a lot of carbon in your exhaust system, starting from manifold, turbo, EGR system, exhaust, uh, diesel particulate filter. It all collects lots of uh, this carbon powder. So when you take your car for emissions test, what they do, they stick that think in your exhaust whatever they measure with I'm not that specialist and then they rev it up and then black smoke comes out you get a lot of dirt in, into that machine you fail on your emissions why majority of diesels fail not because they faulty I believe your car is not faulty if you failed it <laughs> my light just came That's my bulb has gone. It has nothing to do with the engine. <laughs> it's just I got some uh, water collected in my uh, rear light. I'll just clean it in a minute. What I'm trying to say, these engines are in general good. And why they fail is just because when they rev up on emission test, they get all this dirt. And you, all you need to do is just take it out before you get it to your MOT. So, um, some, some people think motorway will do the job. I can tell you for sure, I had this once when I... I'm a taxi driver, as you can see on the car. I have meter here. I have all the equipment, so that's why I have so many miles. One day I had a 300 mile motorway journey. I brought it home, the car, and I, next morning I took it on a MOT and I thought what can happen, it's just, it had a long journey on motorway, it should clear up, no it didn't, it fell on a MOT. Also you, they sell a lot of additives to your fuel, supposed to clean your engine. They might do something, but it's not significant. You still can use them. I'm not saying they're completely useless. You can use them, but main thing is just uh, to clear it up. You have to make your engine work hard. I mean, on motorway, you do two, two and a half thousand RPMs maximum. You have six-speed gearbox. Even if you go in fifth, it's still 
doesn't do enough job. What you need to do is just find yourself a hill outside in, in countryside and just take it to three and a half, better four thousand RPMs up the hill, not just on neutral. If you do it on neutral, it just doesn't blow that part. It has to work hard. It has to go up the hill. The best uh, scenario, the best place I can think of, you know, when you get slip road uh, coming onto motorway, if it goes not down the hill but up the hill, so you can accelerate in your. This is two liter TDI, six speed gearbox, so you can accelerate in your third gear up to like 70 miles an hour, and that should do the job. Have a look in your rear view mirror. You see a lot of black stuff. It doesn't happen in normal driving conditions. Sometimes you need to do that. So I'll just uh, show you what I mean on um, one of the A roads in Bristol. Before we go, I'll, I want to. By the way, bolts are sorted, as you can see, all nice and clean, all working. Um, about additives, I want to say. Um, they, I also failed my MOT. I've done few MOTs for this car, believe me, I've tried everything. And um, I had one really good additive to the fuel, supposed to help pass emission test. It didn't. If you don't blow it, if you don't clear the exhaust system the way I'm gonna show you now, it's just, it, it won't do it. I've done the motorway jobs, I've done the I mean, uh, motorway long journeys. I've done the um, additive to the fuel. It still doesn't pass. But I, I'll, I just want to show. I just. This is the example of the road. We can do it. Have a look over there. It's a little hill. We won't go fast. It's only 30 mile an hour road. We can do it in a um, second gear up the hill. You'll be surprised how much black stuff you have in your exhaust system when you do this. So, we'll let that car go and try not to crash into the back of it. Move off. And take it to the 4000 for now, I can see in my mirror a lot of smoke. I thought my engine is clear now. So yes, that's how you do it. Couple times, you don't need to do it all day. Two, three times will be enough. Four, or five, it will be absolutely lovely clean. Here we have another hill. What I'm trying to say, high RPMs, is not the only thing you need. Your engine also needs to work hard for this. So it has to just blow it through. This is a good hill. 50 mile an hour road, so we'll see. Maybe second gear, maybe third. Probably third. Let's try third. 3000. You don't have to take it to your red zone. I don't want you to damage your engine. One more thing I want to say. If your engine is not in good condition, I'm not gonna take responsibility if something goes wrong during this clean. I'm talking about nice and healthy engines looked after. Also, a lot of people would advise you before taking for MOT for a mission test, they will advise you to change your oil, change your fuel filter, air filter, obviously oil filter as well. Yes and no. If you service it regularly, if you recently have changed it, you don't have to have it absolutely brand new clean before your MOT test. It won't give that much effect. If your exhaust system is clean, if your engine is healthy, if you 
I've done my MOT between my services. So I had service like 5,000 miles ago. So I didn't bother changing filter or anything. I keep my service in schedule at certain times and I uh, don't bother changing something out of turn. What I'm trying to say is uh, your engine needs exercise. It's like your body. You can't lay down on a sofa in front of a telly all day long without getting up, eating some fuel additive, I mean food additive, and expect yourself to be fit. Get your bottom of the sofa, get out, get yourself running, get yourself into the gym. <laughs> you got the idea. Same as your engine. It has to get out, it has to have exercise. It doesn't mean you have to trash it always and keep it to the higher revs. Drive it normally, just once in a while, just give it a blast, give it a clean. Just make sure nothing inside. You can always see if something inside, you can see a lot of black stuff behind you. If it stays black, your engine is faulty, then you take it to the garage and te stay in, test it. Fuel blasts like this, two, three, maximum four, five, should do the job. I know some um, pensioners, they have cars, and they keep them in their driveways and uh, take it twice a month around the corner to the post office or whatever. Those cars die. They have a lot of problems because they just are not driven. Cars need to be driven. If you don't have hills in your area, don't panic, it's okay. You can just take it on a fast road. Just make the engine hot, accelerate hard to near the red zone. Don't go into red zone. 4000 RPMs, 50 mile an hour road, straight. Look at my revs, we just go. Let's give some little distance. Let's try it in second. That's it, enough. The emissions are much cleaner now. If you put some additives, you've done some motorway journey, you think, ah, oh, my engine is clean, I have a new car, she's only one year old, half year old, whatever. If you drive around, drive around city, you'll get that carbon inside. You need to just blast it out, your exhaust system is clean, engine is nice, you'll pass your emissions. One more thing, when you bring it for MOT, make sure your engine is hot, because, um, as you know, diesel doesn't have spark plugs, it burns, fuel explodes because of the temperature of the engine and mainly because of the pressure. But as higher the temperature is, the more chances of fuel to be burned properly. So, if you want to get some more information about additives I've used, some of them I think useless, some of them are good, I recommend just come and visit my website, Clean, click on the link on the end of this video or just visit wilsonmotors.com If you have something to say, if you don't agree with me, you have your opinion, come and see me on my website. You'll find some more stuff about this car, servicing, little bits and bulbs. I'll be happy to see you there.